coming up on this week's news. Don't mess with your meter. That's the trade's message to homeowners this week as they resort to desperate and deadly measures to save money. Crown House starts wiring up Everton's new stadium from 100 miles away and an apprentice electrician's life is narrowly saved by his hard hat. Welcome to Electrical News Weekly in association with Skarmy. Whether you're listening in the van, on site or down at the wholesale counter, I'm Joe Robinson and I've been through the best of the electrical industry news to save you the trouble. And as always, if you think you've spotted the two words I've been challenged to slip into this week's show, comment with them below for the chance to win a prize. Meter tampering is believed to be at an all-time high in the UK as desperate householders search for ways to cut their spiralling energy bills. Residents are installing powerful magnets, breaking the meter seal, opening the base and even trying to interfere with the incoming service cable in an attempt to bypass the meter. The boom is being fuelled by irresponsible social media posts promoting the idea as an innocent energy-saving hack. Select, the Trade Association for Electrical Contracting in Scotland, is calling on its members and all electricians to report meter tampering immediately to the relevant energy company. It says bypassing services are increasingly offered by unscrupulous individuals who have limited knowledge of what they're doing. Crime Stoppers has launched an awareness campaign after the first fatality was recorded. An elderly mother died in a fire in Glasgow caused by a bypassed electricity meter. It turned out her son had arranged to have the work done to save money. A poor connection led to a spark, followed by a blaze which his mother was too frail to escape. She died of smoke inhalation before fire officers reached the scene. The son admitted the offence and was charged with causing his own mother's death. A subsequent investigation revealed that families in five of the eight flats of the block had all bypassed their meters in the same way. The fire service said that this endangered not just their own lives and property, but those of their neighbours. You can report meter tampering to Crime Stoppers on 0800 023 2777. I've also popped the link to their dedicated Stay Energy Safe website in the show notes. In other news, electrical contracting giant Crown House is starting this week on the mammoth job of wiring up Everton's new £500 million stadium at Bramley Moor Dock in Liverpool. The twist? They're doing it 100 miles away in the West Midlands. The electricians don't have arms of spaghetti like Mr Tickle, rather the company is conducting as much of the electrical work as it can in a special factory in Oldbury. In a modern way of construction, much of the cabling, the panels and the switchgear will arrive pre-manufactured and factory tested before being plugged together on site. Crown House has been tasked to complete the job in time for the club to move in for the 2024-2025 to season. No pressure guys. No matter how much the off-site cabling trend continues, there will always be a need for electricians to work on building sites, and the need for vigilance under such conditions was underscored this week after court proceedings were initiated in the case of an apprentice electrician who suffered a devastating head injury. 20-year-old Liam Hamilton was wiring up new houses in Bury St Edmunds when a heavy load hit him on the head. It had fallen several stories from a forklift truck. He was wearing a hard hat at the time, which unquestionably saved his life, but he still suffered horrific injuries, including a fractured skull. Hamilton was rushed to hospital where surgeons carried out emergency brain surgery. They also put him in an induced coma for four days. Hamilton, who was originally from Hertfordshire, now suffers from ongoing cognitive strength and balance problems and fears for the future of his electrical career. He has now asked his solicitors to issue court proceedings in relation to the incident. A separate health and safety executive probe is ongoing. In product news this week, identifying cables has been taken to a whole new level by Hellem and Titan. The company has just launched glow-in-the-dark labels, so you can see what's what, even in low-light conditions. It says they've been specially developed for electricians who work in the panel building, automotive, rail and telecom sectors, or places where it's, you know, dark. The tip tags, as they're known, glow green when exposed to ultraviolet light. They're made in the UK using a halogen-free process. They are resistant to abrasions, UV, acids and fuels, and you simply fix them with a couple of cable ties. How do you design a better screwdriver? That was the challenge that Panasonic engineers set themselves two years ago, and they've now unveiled the result. It's an electric insulated screwdriver for electricians. It's a super lightweight red and yellow model designed for one-handed operation. You can easily switch between forward or reverse mode, as well as toggle between rundown driving and manual tightening. The EYED11SA uses a lithium-ion battery pack, which you charge with a USB-C cable. Fully charged, it has enough juice for 600 standard screws. Not entirely sure what a standard screw is, but 
there's enough juice in there for 600 of them. SeaTech has won the Electric Vehicle Charge Point Manufacturer of the Year Award at the UK's E-Mobility Awards 2023. SeaTech won the coveted trophy for its Charge Storm Connected 2 EV kit, which is designed to be compact, smart and reliable. The SeaTech team was presented with the award by the broadcaster Quentin Wilson at the British Motor Museum in Warwickshire, and we're sure the win was greeted with much hullabaloo. Many congratulations to them. We did a deep dive into the Charge Storm Connected 2 last year, including a test install. You can see how we got on via a link to the video which I've popped into our show notes. Speaking of product awards, the prestigious Build Back Better Awards have now opened for entries. The initiative celebrates innovation and environmental leadership in the built environment. Categories include solar, EV, heating and ventilation, retrofit and smart home products. The early bird entry prices close this Friday the 10th of February and the final deadline is Friday the 10th of March. I've put a link in the show notes. Now, just before we get to your favourite bit of the show where I reveal last week's challenge words and winners, we want to thank our premium partners. We couldn't make the news without you. First up, with the best blend of Italian and British since Louis Capaldi and providing all your circuit protection needs, it's Luden Palazzoli. And they're strong, tough, northern and conductive. No, we're not talking about Rick and Joe. It's Doncaster Cables with their innovative and top quality cabling. Thank you very much to our premium partners. Now, if you think you know the words I've smuggled into this week's show, pop your guess into the comments and we'll dig out a goodie bag prize to the first to get the right answers. Last week's words were kerfuffle and lullaby, which apparently were quite well hidden amongst some other red herrings as it took a while for it to be guessed. First past the post was David Griffin, so well done to you, sir. Click the link in the description to claim your prize. Releasing on our YouTube channel this week, we've got a Q&A on a consumer unit relocation kit which may well put the cat amongst the pigeons do you have ugly old smoke alarms in your property well we've got a solution from Cavius with one feature we suspect may blow your mind and of course it's a live stream week and joining in the fun and games we've got brendan beaver from Mitrell. he really is a top bloke so we can be sure that'll be a good laugh and we're looking forward to seeing how his top trumps card comes out thanks for listening to this episode of electrical news weekly in association with scarmy make sure you subscribe to receive the next update thanks for listening and until next next time have a great week stay safe out there and remember there's no such thing as a taut calibrated arm